All right, so here we are with an auto transformer motor starter. This one is a closed transition, meaning it stays energized between start and run. With the auto transformer motor starter, what we're gonna see is right when I hit that start button, my S1 and my S2 coil will energize. Now what'll happen in the transitioning period, S1 drops open, which opens my Y point for my auto transformer. Then it's still energized through S2, only now using the auto transformer as almost an inline resistor. And you'll see it switch into R and then S2 will open. So when it's in run, it'll be at full voltage. So let's see that. Now keep in mind, of course, while it is starting, it has that reduced voltage at the terminals, in this case, a 65% tap, which means a 65% current. But because at the source, there's a higher voltage, you can actually get away with an even further reduced current. So that's what we really like about these auto transformer starters is a very small inrush current. Uh, so we saw that transition there really quick. Uh, and now it's hard to see, but yeah, S1 drops out, R and S2 will, or S2 will stay in, R will close, then S2 will open. So let's take a look at it again here, but in slow motion, and you can see those contactors actually change. Now again, take a look at my other video linked below where I have a lot more detailed control schematic and wiring diagram, but let's just watch this transition here. Right, so there we saw it in slow motion, and now it is just running through the R coil, running at full voltage and full current. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and check out some of my other videos where I cover all the different type, or the three different types of motor starters that we talk about uh, going through the equipment. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You have yourself an awesome day.